He has recanted. Goes in. And away they go. California Chrome got an absolute flyer, and California Chrome straight onto the rail. Rider takes a strong hold, though. Liner horses coming to take him on now. Unstoppable Coldy, School of Hard Rocks. Midnight Hawk is going to be caught four wide into the turn. Back on the inside is Sawyer's Hill, only three lengths off these leaders. And there goes Christo getting a little closer on the far side. That'll leave recanted last. Seven lengths covers them all. They move to the three-quarter pole and California Chrome on the inside and Midnight Hawk. Those two now open up on them. They go clear by four. School of Hard Rocks third, Christo on the far side. Unstoppable Colby has the white blankers and down at the rail is Sawyer's Hill. They're a good six off that leader and then another four back to Recanted. They run past a half mile pole and California Chrome in front three parts of a length to Midnight Hawk. They still well clear. They've opened up four and a half lengths on School of Hard Rocks. Unstoppable Colby between them and Sawyer's Hill at the rail. Christo is now a good eight lengths off the leaders starting a run on the far side and recanted is still last. They've run past the 3 8 pole and it's still California Chrome and Midnight Hawk stride for stride. It's four lengths back to School of Hard Rocks and then Christo. They're at the top of the lane and California Chrome now kicks for home and California Chrome opens up to lead by two and a half. Midnight Hawk battling in second but it's all California Chrome as they come for home. They would need to sprout wings to get to California Chrome. Absolutely romping in under Victor Espinosa. San Felipe was a walkover for California Chrome. Midnight Hawk second, then Cristo and School of Hard Rocks. The unofficial result, the winner number four, California Chrome. Second, number nine, Midnight Hawk. Third, number seven, Cristo. And fourth, number eight, School of Hard Rocks.